Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime Gaming. My name is Brian and let me be the first to say how sorry I am that you've actually come to this video. I think by now uh, you've probably had a pretty rough time uh, installing or uninstalling a Windows Store application. And while I didn't specifically design those systems, I know that you probably have had a hell of a day. So let's just dive into this guide. Let me see if I can't get you in and out and hopefully on your way in terms of getting this uh, ready to rock and roll. There's a lot we have to kind of cover. We're gonna cover some basic steps. We're gonna get more into the advanced stuff. I'll try to keep this as quick as possible. So hopefully you can start playing uh, your game as soon as possible. Uh, so this is gonna be focusing on a Windows Store apps, uh, installing and uninstalling. And what has happened to me in the past is uh, something went wrong with the install, uh, something went wrong with the uninstall, and I ended up finding myself uh, not able to literally run the program uh, and, and it just took up tons of hard drive space and everything I tried to do at that point failed. Uh, so literally uh, very frustrating, not fun at all. And uh, so let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go and show you how to fix it. Hopefully this works, but use this obviously uh, at your at your own pace, uh, at your own risk. Uh, this shouldn't cause any problems to your machine. However, obviously computers all being different. I can't guarantee that, you know, this is going to work and hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. But this is gonna be more technical, and that's why you're here at this video. So in this case, I can hit the uh, my Windows key and the R key to bring up the run command. You can also search for wsreset.exe uh, by just typing it in to start, wsreset, uh, and it will come up right here and there. There's another third way to go about doing this, but what you would do, you type in run, hit okay. It's gonna take a while, and you're gonna see some footage uh, throughout the video kind of sped up uh, so that as these things run once that's finished it will launch the store and hopefully that's all that you need to do uh, again you can launch it from start the other way you can kind of go about it uh, from start you can search store be good if they just put it on steam because that would be a little bit easier for everybody and you want to go into app settings uh, this is going to load up the app settings you can't uninstall the store but you can uh, reset it uh, which kind of helps clean it up as well you can also terminate other related uh, processes for it. Uh, in the terms of an uninstall, if you're sitting here and it's saying it's uninstalling and it's stuck, which happens to me from time to time, a hard reset, like turning the computer off truly and turning it back on seems to fix that. However, it tends to hold onto those files and those files are gonna just eat away at your hard drive. And if you have a limited space, you might not be able to actually install the game again if you were doing an uninstall and reinstall and it failed. So anyway, first device, run WS reset. You can come in here, you can do the start and the settings apps. This actually also applies for games that you have installed. So here I would click Fantasy Star Online 2 because that's been my offending party today. And then I can come in here and also have those same options. I can actually uninstall this because it's a, it's a game. It's not the Windows Store itself. And hopefully we'll see Microsoft uh, you know, improve upon that. But you have that also within these apps as well. So... With those kind of tips out of the way, we got to talk about where things are hidden, uh, especially when it's not going to release the file. One of the errors I kept getting was it was trying to write to this protected area. I'm going to show you where you find that uh, within here just in a second, but I do want to recommend Tree Size Free, not a sponsored video at all. Uh, in this case, this is just something I like to use. I'm sure you could find another uh, version or another software out there. Uh, that's that. Uh, it's a free software. It allows me to come in here, download, uh, run it as an administrator. It's, otherwise, it's going to bark at you, and you can sit here and it's going to tell you where your where your hard drive space is being eaten up. This is just a great tool for cleaning up hard drive space anyway. Uh, so that way, just kind of think about that. Go in and uh, do that. Now, be careful which delete if you're going to delete anything. Uh, hopefully, Windows is smart enough not to let you. But note that for the most part, we're going to be diving into our Windows apps folder which that's relating heavily to the microsoft store do not delete this folder especially if it's connected to your c drive but from my perspective i was able to come in here and find the giant folder of this backup stuff that once deleted solved the problem i was able to reinstall the game and go from there so to find it within just the regular browsing obviously you can see the pathway here C, I'm going to go to program files and app data, Windows apps. Now, typically you might find that it is uh, you have your system set up to hide 
these type of uh, <laughs> folders. So you're going to come in here and customize from your security perspective. Say, hey, show me the hidden folders and things like that. I'm not going to dive into that. I'm sure there's a thousand guides up there, uh, especially because off the top of my head, I don't remember what the heck it was anyway. So I'm not going to be clicking around. I like to see my hidden uh, files and folders. And I had to come in here and I had to grant myself permission to this directory. It was, you know, continue to lock me out and I just had to go in and follow the process doing that. You can see it on the screen. Uh, it was a pain in the butt because it takes a long time to run. And that is, uh, that is legit way of going about it. Once I had permission, I was able to finally go in and clear up that folder. You can still see that I'm using some space with a Windows store uh, and it's got all kinds of uh, stuff that I'm doing, but you know what, that's gonna be just fine. The point is, is that it likes to hold on to stuff for you. Uh, it's trying, I guess, to be helpful, but unfortunately it's not. And I'm sure there's probably a hundred other launchers that you would rather connect into. Now with that, I hopefully some of this has been helpful to you. Hopefully you're gonna find some value in that. I'm not here for your subscription. I honestly just want you to go have fun with your game. Uh, so best of luck. If this helped in any way, uh, I think the only the best way to say thanks would be to share this out with others who are having problems with the Windows Store. Uh, and I appreciate that if you decide to do that. But uh, let me know if it helped in the comments below. That would be amazing. Uh, and if it didn't help, let me know as well to see if there's other errors and things like that that I might be able to research and try to come up with some form of uh, guide that can help kind of just make life a little bit easier and make life a little bit more fun when playing video games on computers. Anyway, for Ginger Prime, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you the best. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances, but uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we could talk about fun games that we're playing uh, beyond this video. So without further ado, best of luck. Take care. I love you and good luck again. Yeah.